Welcome to Bangalore School of Banking. This is Satyananda Rathiyar. This is the second video on the master key, the digital route, where I'm trying to give some more details on it. Now this question is a very exact question that came in Kanura Bank 2010. 32 portion of 350 is equal to 73 plus how much? Now as I discussed in my previous video, if you are directly solving this to get the answer, it will be 32 into 35 there is a percentage symbol I'll have to take care you'll get some answer to this that I'll have to subtract 73 I mean from from this answer I will get some answer and that should be something on this 5 but I have already discussed that that's okay but that will just be enough to solve the problem but not enough to make you a bank PO. The first step that you should do is you should check the question by means of the digital route whether it is done by the digital route or not. If the question happens to be a bit more tougher like if I'll put some more percentage and this that stuff and I'm, I'm finding that you are doing the problem to get the answer I'm telling you one who attempts this kind of a tough problem let me say this is not so tough but if I'll give you 140 43 percent of 57 along with this and I'm finding that you are trying to solve this problem by your normal technique that you have learned from the books or from your coaching centers as such you may get the answer but you may not get through bank exams that's because it's an exam for some hundreds as I told the hundreds are lakhs it's not only to solve the problem it's all the way how you run over other competitors how you run much much faster than other competitors it's a game of competition it's not an exam of 9th 10th or 11th or 12th so what I do here is I will get the digital root of 32 this is 3 plus 2 is 5 as I told percentage symbols do not carry any meaning 350 3 plus 5 plus 0 is 8 5 into 8 is 40 40 means digital root of 40 is 4 now on the right hand side digital root is 7 plus 3 is 10 10 means 1 so digital root method is whatever is there in the left hand side that digital root must be have there in the right hand side so as this digital root is 1 this one's digital root should be 3 so that 1 plus 3 is 4 so my question <coughs> is basically coming to this that whose digital root is 3 so 4 plus 49 digital root of 49 is just you add these two this becomes 13 it can never be a double digit number it's 1 plus 3 is 4 so I can easily say that this is not the answer now 39 3 plus 9 is 12 12 means 1 plus 2 is 3 so here is my answer but I can't say that it's the only answer but I can say that it's one of my answers now for 42 4 plus 2 is 8 it can never be because it should be 3 185 1 plus 8 is 9 9 plus 5 is 14 1 plus 4 is 5 so this is also not the answer this is the non figure so I'm left with two options one is 39 one is none I will suggest you if the question is little bit more tougher little bit more tougher go with none option I'm sorry I'm sorry go with 39 because none is never correct when the question happens to be tougher trust me none option is never correct and if you are diverting your enough time in getting questions like this 132 into 179 
plus 29 into 138 or something. Questions come like this. I mean, if this is 73.28 into 0 0.89, something like this. If the question comes like this and you are trying to do this problem, you are welcoming trouble in the bank exam. Because this kind of a sum, one who does, he's welcoming, he's, he's accepting that, he's not sitting in the exam to get through the bank exam. So this kind of a sum, if it is not done by the digital root method, because I believe now you can know how to get the by means of the digital root. If you are still not getting it properly, I will try to give this digital root method free in my next video. But for overall techniques in quantity, I mean, if you are really determined to become a PO, I am there with you to help you get through the exam. So, if this kind of a question is given, I will suggest you that you give this question to your competitor, to another candidate, let him solve. Because one who solves this problem, one who dares solving this problem, will not get through the exam. Do not get disheartened, but that's the truth that you require much more, pra uh, much more not only practice, but higher techniques to solve the issues in bank exam. This is another problem of Canara Bank, 36.934 minus 48 plus 17.449 is how much. Just go with the digital rule. And please watch my next video where I'm giving you how to get the digital roots quite easily. This is 3 plus 9. I'm telling you whenever this is 9, just erase it up. 9 has no meaning. 9 is equal to 0. This 9 is 0. 3 plus 4 is 7. 4 plus 8 is 12. 12 means it's 3. So 9 minus 3 is 4. This is my next first digital root. I mean, this is 8. This 9 is gone. 8 plus 12 is 4. And, and 8 plus 12, uh, sorry, 8. This is 1 plus 7 is 8 plus 4 is 12. 12 means 3. That you can add to this. 3 plus 4 is 7. Or you can add the whole figure. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 4 is 16. You'll get get 7. So normally, if you're if you're just adding, you'll you'll find that digital root is much tougher than the normal way. But that's not the case. There's a way to get the digital root much faster. Please join me in my next video. Thanks for watching.